The accessories that are supplied with the VGG8 and the VGG5 are insulated gloves, 5 spits or 8 spits, or 6 goosers, or 4 goosers, or 6 baskets, or 5 baskets. Now we'll do a little bit of spitting on chickens and make sure that you wear gloves whenever handling raw food. We'll turn the chicken upside down and point it wings toward you. Take the truss, go underneath the wings, catching the little claws on the back of the wings, then turning the truss turning the chicken over and catching the front legs. That's a correctly trussed chicken. And if you don't truss it in a rotisserie oven, you will tear the legs and wings and you'll probably ruin the chicken. Now also, a number of locations will dust the chicken for flavor and additional browning. In this, you do both sides, front and back, making sure you pat it, it sticks, and adding a little bit more to the front breast. Down the sides and patting. There is a beautifully prepared chicken ready for rotisserie. Mounting chickens on the V spit is very simple. You always put the V up into the breast of the chicken, allowing the metal to rest on the breast and forming an air pocket with the bottom of the V for the dark meat. So we'll slide this on, very simply opening the cavity and sliding the V spit in, making sure that the legs are on top of the spit. In this case, we're going to put three chickens on. These are three and a half pound chickens. With three pound or less, you can probably get four on. Legs up above again, sliding it through perfectly, leaving a little spacing if you have available for best browning. And the third one on, legs above, and you're spitted. Absolutely beautiful. Putting the spit in, the idle end will go into the small hole below the large hole on the left side and you'll slide the two pegs into the right side. You've now put the spit correctly into the rotisserie. Now, using the gooser, there's no trussing needed. You fold the wings back and slide the chicken over the support. You bring the legs to the center and tuck them in under the front bar. And again, Taking a chicken, folding the wings, and bringing the legs toward the center and under the bar, making sure that there's space between each chicken for correct browning and you would fill that rack with four, or trust into the wire basket, allowing you to put four in, setting them in sideways and turning them so they lock in to be held in the wire rack. And suggestion is spraying these racks with PAM or some type of lubricant so that nothing sticks. For more information, please contact BKI Customer Service directly at 1-800-927-6887. Thank you.